Coachella is a world-renowned music and arts festival that most of us probably couldn't afford tickets to. If you were stuck watching the live stream, don't fret. The event wasn't all smiles and seamless performances this year, and a surprising number of mishaps took place. Today we're going to talk about all of the things that went wrong at 2019 Coachella. Okay, yes, we're heartbroken we couldn't attend, come on, Blackpink being on stage was historic. But that doesn't make these mishaps any less unfortunate. Get ready to cringe when you hear about which huge celebs had seriously awkward moments. One of the many criticisms of Coachella over the year has been its surprising lack of female performers. However, this is something festival organizers claim to be working on, and this year many fans were excited to see Ariana Grande take the stage. Not only that, but she was going to be joined by Nicki Minaj to perform some of their collaborations. Unfortunately, the two experienced severe technical issues which resulted in a totally botched performance. The two stars teamed up to sing Side to Side and Bang Bang, and it didn't exactly go well. Unfortunately, Nicki Minaj lost audio in her earpieces. Performing a duet on stage is already difficult, but more so when you can't hear the other person at all. Ariana Grande did her best to keep things moving, but but there really wasn't any way for her to salvage a super awkward situation. And it appears as though Ariana was experiencing her own technical difficulties, as she also struggled to complete the performance. She yelled, we can't hear anything, in an effort to explain the predicament to confused fans. Everyone knows Coachella has a huge budget, but it seems like they may need to invest some more in their sound equipment. During a happier moment involving Ariana Grande, she was joined on stage by none other than NSYNC. Well, kind of. While fans were thrilled to see them join Ariana to perform Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored, and Tearing Up My Heart, something was missing. Or should we say someone? Justin Timberlake tragically couldn't make this epic performance because he was busy wrapping up his own tour. Or maybe he was there and we just just couldn't see him. Another criticism of Ariana's performance was that the lighting on her stage was incredibly minimal. It was a unique look for sure, but many fans complained they couldn't see what was going on very well. Poor Nicki Minaj and Ariana Grande struggled to hear and they likely had difficulty seeing what they were doing as well. Lizzo was so excited to make her Coachella debut, but it seemed like everything was just working against her. During her song Worship, the backing track totally cut out when she was only halfway through the song. Like a pro, Lizzo kept going and treating the audience to an a cappella version. Honestly, we feel worse for her backup dancers and DJs who were forced to keep on going despite the lack of music. Lizzo specifically asked the sound techs to make sure her audio worked after that, but sadly there was another mishap. While performing Juice as the finale, the song dropped yet again. Billie Eilish also had some issues on stage at Coachella this year, but not all of them could be blamed on her equipment. During her performance, she brought out Vince Staples to thunderous applause. Billie is known for her unique sound, but apparently even she can't keep up with herself sometimes. She forgot the words to one of her songs while she was on stage, which sounds like a professional musician's nightmare. Let's not forget that even though she's a supremely talented musician, Billie is still a teenager. But thankfully, her fans were more than understanding and able to help her out. They sang along and she was able to continue on as if nothing had happened. Billie has talked about how much she loves performing, so hopefully she gets better at remembering her own lyrics. Not only did Billie forget the words to her own music, but she also failed to show up for her performance on time. She was over half an hour late to her own show, and many of her fans weren't happy about it. They paid huge amounts of money to be at Coachella, and the schedule was absolutely packed with talent. Half an hour might not seem like much, but time spent waiting for Billie could have been spent enjoying another performer. In the lead-up to Billie taking the stage, many fans grew increasingly frustrated and restless. But it seems like as soon as Billy showed up and the show got underway, all was suddenly forgotten. The audience may have been happy to help out Billie Eilish while she was on stage at Coachella, but Casey Musgraves had a very different experience. She was performing Velvet Elvis when she decided to have some fun by interacting with the audience. The idea was to have everyone changing yeehaw, which sounds mildly entertaining in theory. Casey announced that when she said yee, she wanted the crowd 
crowd to respond with ha. Only, this didn't go exactly the way she thought it would. The crowd was so excited, they just couldn't stop yelling ha at the top of their lungs. Finally, Casey shouted that she hadn't even said ye the last time. This hilarious moment was a hit on social media and made Casey's performance one of the most memorable ones of the festival. While there are tons of exciting and sometimes awkward on-stage moments, not all of them take place during musical numbers. One of them involved famous model reality star and Coachella regular Kendall Jenner. Everyone knows it's not Coachella if Kendall isn't there, and there was no way she was going to miss a chance to get some sweet sponsorship deals this year. While she had a great time hanging out with her friends, she also ran into someone who's definitely an enemy, at least at the moment. Jordan is best friends with Kylie Jenner, but she's known the entire family for years. Did you know Kylie and Jordan met after being introduced by mutual friend Jaden Smith? Well, interestingly enough, he was also in the mix when Jordan and Kendall had an awkward interaction. Jordan and Jaden were allegedly having fun at the Bootsy Bellows Bash located at a luxurious private estate. Suddenly, Kendall and her crew showed up and the vibe immediately turned uncomfortable when they were seated in the same area. Kendall and her pals froze out Jordan, who eventually took the hint and left. Can you say awkward? And it turns out Kendall Jenner wasn't the only person Jordan Woods had an uncomfortable encounter with at Coachella. It's safe to say pretty much everyone on the planet knows about the Jordan, Tristan, Chloe thing, and most people aren't on Jordan's side about it. Haley Baldwin ended up running into Jordan at Coachella, and it was clear she was uncomfortable being around her. You might be wondering what Haley's connection is to this drama, and it has to do with her new husband, Justin Bieber. He's a longtime friend of the Kardashian family, and Haley has a good relationship with them as well. She's particularly close with Kendall Jenner, and so it's not surprising she would also choose to give Jordan the cold shoulder. Jordan couldn't have really picked a worse family to get on the wrong side of. But while it wasn't a surprise to see Kendall and Jordan at odds with one another, two different celebrities were reportedly getting rather cozy. TMZ has a video of Olivia Culpo and Zed looking rather close while watching Ariana Grande perform. An anonymous source claims the two met and hit it off at Coachella, but they're not seriously dating. According to the source, Olivia is enjoying her time being single and isn't looking to get into a relationship anytime soon. But take that with a grain of salt, because it's hard to tell what's really going on based on this simple video. Remember back in 2017 when Beyonce headlining Coachella was a huge deal? This year, fans got another shocking lineup disappointment from a member of Beyonce's family. This year, her sister Solange was slated to appear as one of the event's top billed performers. She was supposed to rock the house on Saturday night with some of her Grammy award-winning music. However, Solange ended up canceling, claiming she was inundated with major production delays. Via Twitter, she sent her sincerest apologies and looks forward to performing at Coachella in the future. Many fans were frustrated with the vague excuse and with the lack of Solange. Some social media users claim Solange had been a big influence when they were debating whether or not to splurge on Coachella tickets. Her cancelling at the last minute felt like a huge slap in the face for many of her fans. Interestingly enough, this announcement coincided with Netflix dropping a new documentary about Beyonce's 2018 Coachella performance. One of the many celebrity regulars who attends Coachella every year is Selena Gomez. This was the first time she attended as a performer and not simply a guest. Also in attendance were her ex-boyfriend Justin Bieber and his new wife Hailey Baldwin. Some fans were quick to take to social media and talk about this awkward situation. But seriously, these two have been broken up for a long time and have publicly wished one another the best. It's a big music festival and it seems like there's definitely definitely room for everyone. But if you're one of the many people who stayed home and watched the live stream, you may have noticed something was a little bit off. Coachella provided high-quality videos of performances, but muted the reactions of the audience. Some fans were pleased because it meant they could hear the performers better, but others missed this aspect of the show. Before they realized what was going on, many fans wondered if the crowd was just really reserved for some reason. It turns out there are fans who really enjoy listening to others cheer, clap, and try to sing along with the lyrics. There were many history-making moments at this year's 2019 Coachella. Blackpink became the first female K-pop band to perform at the festival, and music legend Calypso Rose became its oldest performer. She's been making music since she was 15 years old and stepped onto the stage at Coachella at 78 years old. Although she proved that there's no age limit on great music, she did have one moment which frightened her fans. During the song Young Boy, she fell down to the ground and yet somehow managed to keep singing. Thankfully, she appeared 
appeared to be just fine and was helped up by a group of people including Matchel Montano and DJ Walshy Fire. Despite this fall, her performance delighted many fans and won over many others. Are you sorry you missed out on all the fun at Coachella this year, or were you happier staying at home? Let us know what you think in the comments section, and then click on the subscribe button for more great videos from us here at The Taco. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.